Hello and welcome to another video from painting the Witcher board game. Uh, today we're gonna paint the bar guest, uh, the simple model but with fantastic colors. First of all we prime the model with the uh, grey primer all over uh, from every angle. Uh, as you can see in the reference card uh, we're gonna have the mainly mix of uh, fluorescent uh, green and yellow as well as with the black. Uh, we're gonna use uh, the colors like the, uh, the contrast paint, the uh, bad moon yellow as well as uh, x-ray flame and of course the black uh, wash as uh, uh, oil, noon oil. Uh, we're gonna start from the base and we're gonna use the uh, German grey uh, to cover uh, the rock that the, uh, the bar guest is standing on. Uh, <coughs> we're gonna paint it uh, all over from the top and uh, the bottom as well but be careful not to uh, paint the uh, the mini's legs as it's gonna be uh, hard to cover it up the plan for this mini is that it stand on a rock in the middle of the swamp so we're gonna try to create a bit of watery look uh, around this uh, rock later on. Next we're gonna paint the swamp using the mixture of the castle and green and the rhinox hide in a proportion in and around uh, 221. Next we're gonna paint uh, its mouth with the Corax white, as you can see in the reference uh, the mouth is quite luminous so that uh, white background will help, uh, help us uh, bring that effect later on.
Once that's done, we're gonna paint his fangs with the Steel Legion drop, uh, just to match the similar color as uh, the one on the reference card. And the next part is to paint the uh, Vargas itself and I started with putting the uh, black wash, the Anun oil from Citadel and I put quite a bit of that uh, paint on the bottom of uh, the mini but once I go to the size at the top I use less and less uh, and towards the end I literally uh, wipe off a bit from the very very uh, top part uh, of the figure uh, the reason for that is that at the very very top we're gonna use a bright uh, yellow contrast and we want uh, those part uh, to be pretty uh, bright before we put uh, the other paints uh, on it so uh, put quite a bit uh, non oil in the recesses and the bottom of the mini but try not to overload uh, the, the sides and especially keep it uh, very low of that non oil at the top of the figure I also painted uh, the rock that is standing on with the non oil as well Next I decided to put the Bealtan green uh, wash from Citadel on the swamp uh, side uh, once to give it a bit of extra time to dry off the wash on the, on the Vargas and the rock uh, in the meantime. Now we're gonna do a bit of work on the rock and we're gonna do a bit of a dry brushing with the storm fervent fur. Uh, once you dry off your uh, brush on the uh, paper towel it's uh, my words to uh, check it on your uh, skin on your hand if it doesn't leave uh, any visible marks then you can uh, say that your brush is ready for dry brushing so put uh, a bit of a grey dry brush all over the rock that the Vargas is standing on And next we're gonna do a tiny uh, a dry brushing with the ivory from Vallejo just on the uh, the top of the uh, uh, rock just to bring those uh, uh, edges of the rock uh, just to give them a bit of more contrast. Uh, as this creature illuminates a bit we're gonna do a bit of uh, reflection of, of that illumination on the rock later on. And uh, that's how the mini looks so far. Uh, next we're gonna get to our Bad Moon Yellow and the Hexra Flame and we're gonna uh, paint uh, with the body. Uh, we're starting off with, uh, with the green tone and we uh, cover up uh, his whole body with uh, exception of his mouth. Uh, the second thing is we put in very little uh, of this uh, green tone on the on the top of the mini and uh, this paint uh, is have a very slow drying time 
that uh, will allow us to do a bit of a, a wet blending with the yellow tone uh, later on. So at this point just to focus on cover uh, every uh, bit of, of the target's body and once that's uh, done we're gonna switch over to the yellow tone. Again try not to uh, overload uh, the green tone of the uh, the black recesses uh, as we want this uh, uh, black uh, tone coming through uh, the green and yellow a bit as well. Uh, as well, be careful not to stain uh, the uh, the rock that the Vargas is standing on, as it might be a bit difficult to, uh, to fix uh, it uh, at this stage. Now we're gonna switch to the the yellow tone, the Padmoon yellow from Citadel, and we're gonna. Uh, paint his mouth, uh, try not to put uh, too much paint uh, into it, uh, we want to have his uh, top part of the mouth, uh, we want the white coming through, so uh, you might need uh, to rinse, rinse your uh, brush and take a bit of that paint off if, if you overload it. On his tongue, uh, again, we're gonna add a tiny bit of uh, the green, uh, just blended it off, so we're gonna have a nice uh, transition between uh, the three colors, white, uh, yellow and green. And then we're gonna uh, start putting the yellow uh, on on his body. Uh, again, the green uh, color is still wet, so we can do a bit of a wet blending. And again, we're trying to do uh, the top part uh, of uh, his body, of his legs, uh, to have them brighter and to put uh, an extra uh, yellow on it but uh, trying to keep the uh, the bottom uh, part uh, darker and green as you have it now So this is the effect I was hoping to achieve and as you can see we have a nice blending the yellow and the green as long we have still a bit of a black coming through especially in the recesses. Now uh, we're gonna do a bit of a, a reflection under uh, his body. We're gonna put a bit of a dry brush in on the rock uh, directly underneath and uh, I'm doing a bit of a dry brushing using uh, the contrast paint. Uh, why not? Uh, it has a uh, the exact uh, tone I was looking for, so it's no point of 
uh, reaching that uh, any other way the contrast paint uh, uh, it's doing the perfect job uh, to me in here uh, maybe it's not uh, uh, it isn't the paint for that purpose, but uh, it worked perfectly perfectly for me. Uh, just remember to to brush it off uh, firmly on the towel and check it on your uh, hand skin. Uh, once once the brush is ready, then you can you can put it on. Uh, you can put it on your minis. Why not? So now you can see the illumination effect from the bar guest on the rock using the contrast paint. And next I'm gonna do a bit of a dry brushing on the on the swamp using the steel legion drop uh, just just on the top very gently uh, just to, to give it a bit of a more contrast before we put the watery effect on it. And next with the Zandri dust we do a bit of a highlights on his funks. Uh, next we're gonna take a bit of a uh, art code and we're gonna put on the on the base of the swamp uh, around the rock just to bring that uh, watery effect and uh, while the art code is still wet I will be uh, blending a bit of a, a green tone uh, the green shade from Citadel the Bieltan green uh, here and there just just to break uh, that color and bring that uh, deeper effect into into our base uh, there So this is how the uh, Vargas presents uh, at the moment. We have a few final touches uh, to finish it off and it will be ready for the tabletop. Next we're gonna paint the edge of the base with the German grey. We're gonna add a bit of a Rakeland flesh shade on his uh, jar and uh, his fangs. And finally we're gonna put a few plants around the rock uh, just to finish it off the base. I'm using the PVA uh, wood glue which I think is the perfect for that purpose. It dries off transparent so there is no worry that you know something's gonna uh, go through uh, and it will be visible.
So this is how the Vargas uh, present in his final version. I hope you enjoy watching it. I hope you enjoy my uh, wee tutorial from the Witcher Old World. Uh, if you don't want to miss another video, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, subscribe my channel. Please also leave the thumb up if you like it. And if you have any other minis you'd like to see in the future, please write it in the comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.